Pacific Island leaders have called for a meaningful climate change agreement at the Climate Change Convention in Paris next year. A high-level dialogue on climate change, hosted by the Secretariat of the Pacific Community, SPC, saw leaders making a collective call for a universal climate change agreement to be adopted in Paris in December 2015. The President of the French Republic, His Excellency François Hollande, in his speech said the light at the end of the tunnel in the climate change negotiations was the Pacific and committed to advance the Pacific climate change agenda. I'm here before you not just as uh, the representative of a min an important Pacific community member country, not just as a representative of the host country for the climate conference, not just because your community has headquarters here in Numea, but I'm here because the situation is urgent and that we must be successful. This is an appeal for mobilization that I am launching here. So today, to keep you involved and informed as far as we possibly can in the lead up to the conference in Paris in December 2015. Delivering a compelling message on behalf of the Pacific Leaders Group, the President of Kiribati, His Excellency Arnaud de Tong, pledged support of Pacific nations to France in the lead up to COP21. We need a meaningful agreement, one that will ensure that uh, our people in our part of the world can be assured that we do have a future. It is important that uh, the global community will be able to give us that assurance. And we do look to France as a leading country. The United States and China have done their part. As the biggest emitters, they have made that commitment. We thank them for doing that. France as the, uh, the chair, and uh, we, we are willing to give you as much support as you will need leading up to uh, 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 COP20 in Paris. I think we represent a considerable number, not just in the Pacific, but beyond within the, uh, the SIDS and AOSIS. And we would like to pledge that support in order that we can achieve the outcome that is necessary. SBC Director General Dr. Colin Tukitonga says the dialogue lays a strong foundation for the COP21 summit next year and is confident France will take the case of the Pacific forward. And today's conversation is really to see what additional steps that we might take together between now and Paris and no doubt beyond that. Chair of the SBC conference, Ratu Inoke Kumbwambola, in a statement, reiterated Fiji's support towards France's efforts in ensuring the success of the UNF Triple C conference of parties in Paris next year. The high-level dialogue on climate change was held at the SBC headquarters in the New Caledonia capital, New Mayor, and was attended by more than 150 representatives of Pacific community members, donors and other development partners, including SBC staff. Emily Molly, SBC News.